In this video, I'm going to unbox and review the MU6 Ring Open Ear Wireless Air Conduction Sports Headphone to see if it's a good purchase or not. How it goes. This is the first time I'm trying the air conduction headphone. Last time I tried the bone conduction and that wasn't really a good experience because I used to use glasses and it didn't really fit on my bones so i couldn't really enjoy it but without the glasses it was good and okay so this one is a bluetooth version 5 and we have the built-in microphone so if you want to call and do voice commands maybe you can use the microphone so mostly designed for people that are into sports i actually see myself using these headphones because when you go out and you i don't know running jogging or whatever you want to be aware of your surroundings so this headphone doesn't really cover your eardrums we have the manuals. I mean, nobody really reads the manuals, right? Stripes. I guess we're gonna find out why there are stripes in here. And you have the USB cable for charging. The headphone itself. It's actually a pretty nice design. I mean, this is actually very lightweight and very flexible. It's not gonna break. Unlike when you accidentally drop it or do something, it's not gonna break that easily. The material is a little bit plasticky, but it's okay. I don't see a problem with that. Let me first try it on with my hat to see if I can use it with the hat. And you put it like this, so with the hat. There's no issue with the hat. It will fit nicely on your ears. This is a noise canceling headphone as well. These are the places that the audio comes out. So this is pretty much the look that you're gonna get with these headphones. There is some buttons on the side to adjust the volume, answer the phone calls and stuff like that. It's very light, you don't even notice it. So it's pretty much looks like a bone conduction headphones, but instead of transferring the music uh, and audio through your bones, you just use the regular speaker very close to your ear so you can hear it like that. I mean, bone conduction headphones were fine but I didn't really enjoy them because I usually use the glasses and when it doesn't have enough contact with your bones you're not gonna enjoy the music and the bass as much but these ones actually solve the problem okay not too bad I mean it's not bad it's not gonna fall or anything and the speaker is close enough to my ear so let's test it out power on let's go straight to the music Now let me try it with the glasses. What did you say? So if you want to talk, you do it like this. And if you want to listen to music, you put it back like that. Okay, so just don't want to be too harsh on the brand, but this is a really good concept. The speakers are not really powerful, but it's pretty much very usable and I, you can enjoy the music. The problem is the, the bass sound is not really powerful that you put you in the, like in the bass mode. And if you're maybe listening to audiobook, podcast, definitely uh, really good for those type of audio. Pretty okay for the purpose that they designed it for. But if you really wanna enjoy music, this is not the right headphones for you. I mean, even for workout, if it was me, if I want to go workout, I'd rather have it like a full headphones because I want to be in the moment in the music and involved in my workout and stuff like that. Uh, and if you want to have the uh, higher volume, you have to push it back to get it closer to your ears. It's not really adjustable to make it smaller for different type of heads. So that's the negative, I think. So pretty much if you don't want to use the bone conduction headphones and because you're using glasses or stuff like that that doesn't have the connection with your bones, you can use these headphones. And if you want to listen to audiobooks or podcasts, and if you're working at the office job that you need to be constantly uh, talking to people and stuff like that, it might be a perfect fit. But if you really want to enjoy the music, this is not designed for that. That's what I'm assuming. And I will give these headphones maybe a 6, 6.5 out of 10 for the whole purpose that they're aiming for. Maybe in the future they can work on the quality of the speakers and they come up with a new version. But for now, I think it's pretty okay. 
So that was the review. I hope it helped you make a decision if you wanna purchase these headphones or not. And if you wanna see more honest reviews like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And it will actually help me to get my hands on better and bigger products to review for you. Thanks for watching.